Good morning. Uh, I will start with the winning trade so far. Um, Aussie New Zealand retraced to the expected area for a fourth wave and so far has bounced strongly. Um, this is probably now in wave five of wave one of wave three of C or three. Um, I'll, I'll go over it on the weekends. Um, still expected area of above one eight for this first segment to complete so it remains very bullish um, probably we won't see this area again unless there's a just a three in here for a deeper way for correction euro new zealand has bounced strongly out of the bull flag um, target on this is this area here um, as a minimum there is a very bullish scenario on this pair which i'll go over on the weekend um, with a likely long-term low here. Pound New Zealand, um, I can count five waves in this segment, so we may be in one of three now for a very bullish move. I'm not convinced overall on the other pound pairs, but for now I will hold this as a low. We'll see if this just ends up as a three for one more correction. Pound Canadian, probably B of Y. It's not impulsive, so still expecting one more low. Um, I'll do pound dollar now, then dollar after. Um, this was three yesterday, so it's there's no five wave advance yet. There's a crossover there, so um, nothing bullish yet about this. If it does correct further, I still have a bullish scenario here from around one, two, three. Um, the dollar on the daily from the high of this year. This segment is clearly corrective here. Um, this advance here this advance, I can count it as five waves, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. Um, depends on the correction, if it can hold the last low. The issue on this is the very, very bearish daily candle there. One candle alone is not going to override a five wave impulse. However, um, at the moment, I'm not confident about this bullish dollar scenario. It seems to be turning over and has had two strong down days so far. Um, if it closes very bearish like this on the weekly, just as if euro dollar closes very bullish like this on the weekly, I'll probably stick with the long side. Um, euro dollar, it had a strong wave up yesterday. I don't have a count on this yet, but it looks very strong. Um, I don't get the impression it's turning over for a wave three down, so I'm still going to wait and see on this. If I see a bull flag, I will take it and update. Um, other dollar pairs, Aussie dollar, I still don't have a count on this and I still don't have an impulse down. Little bearish candle there, but this is not looking convincing for a bearish decline yet with divergence, so stay out of this one, it's not clear. This, if this breaks down beneath 7180, um, I will probably have to adjust because the bearish view is five waves here, a three wave correction for two. Um, what I haven't seen, however, is a five wave advance that looks like three. So, um, Again, not trading anything without clarity. Yen pairs. Um, the issue on the yen pair, I was very confident for wave four of one. I was very confident for a correction of this five wave advance. I have a low confidence feeling right now. There is a possibility for a wave two low into here for a three wave correction overall like this. Um, there are a few possibilities still. 
Um, there is still a bullish edge on this, slightly. And on the one hour, um, we have some divergence sneaking in. Maybe on the next low, we can get a turn on divergence. There was a lot of very strong dollar news yesterday. The Philly Fed number was way up, highest number, I think, since the 80s. And retail sales were way up. CPI is way up. Inflation seems to be coming back. I don't trade off of this, but... Um, it sounds like it could be trouble for the US. Uh, what else? Euro yen. This is still within the bounds of holding and taking on a bullish case. So they're both within the bounds of it. Um, they're both managing to stay in the region to turn around. So I'm not going to take a bearish view. This is one of those views where I just will step back and consider before trying to take in a position. Um, so we'll give it to the bulls for now. There's no breakdown as such. However, we'll see what comes. US Canadian dollar, um, on the four hour, it has managed to find some support here. And this I can count as a one, two, three, one, two, three, and move down for an overall third wave though, of three overall. Um, this was the last impulse, so we had a three-wave correction. This could be another three-wave correction, and we may end up moving up to this region for what I'm still marking as wave two of a bearish wave three of an impulse. Um, let's see how that turns out to no position, because right now, in this area right here, it's in the middle of nowhere. I think that's it. I'll do a full update on the weekend to go over everything and um, have a good day. Bye-bye.